Mm-mm. Dog getting full. Yes, master. It tastes like plastic and copper. Gas inside. In pockets. It's when teeth sinks into them. Dog doesn't like to eat them always. Sometimes so many. Started eating them because wouldn't go quiet when dog smashed them with bear jaw. Only want one. Got dog angry. Others kept cutting him and slicing him with knives when he tried to make one go quiet with teeth. So dog started crushing them. Then when they stop twitching, then eats them. Then they not get back up with noise. Dog not like that. Dog can tell when they not yet dead. Twitch a bit, make low noise, then noise when they get back up. Let me ask you a question. What's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? You're just pulling my leg, right? Why would anyone... Ugh, never mind. Anyway, what's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? No accounting for taste, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I've got this recipe for a deathclaw omelette that I've been itching to try out. Trouble is, I need a deathclaw egg. <laughs> kind of obvious, I suppose. Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. You disgust me. How dare you say such a filthy thing in my establishment? I ought to have you arrested. You'll kindly mind your tongue, or we shan't speak any further. How may I be of service, sir? Ah, yes. I've heard that one, too. Jealous people say such nasty things. I feel sorry for them. Good. And you know what it is to be discreet in matters of... nutrition. Perhaps you can help me. I'm in a bind. I've been planning an exquisite society dinner, but there's a bit of a problem with the main course. He's got a powerful and temperamental father. Yes, the wrong person. We scouted the right one for weeks. The heir to a mercantile empire. Sort of a black sheep. He cut ties with his family and left their estate to wander. He was ideal, corn-fed and well-to-do, but no one to miss him if he were to disappear. Unfortunately, the trap my subordinate set for him failed, and as he escaped, he saw their faces. Now he's wary. I asked for a last-minute replacement, and they stole the son of the most dangerous Brahmin baron in New Vegas while he stayed at this very hotel. Needless to say, this could be a disaster if things aren't put back the way they should be. And I still need somebody reputable to serve for dinner. Strictly speaking, we're no longer allowed to eat people. But I'm hoping the right person and preparation might sway Marjorie to see things my way. <laughs> 